In this video, we're going to review 7 cheap dividend stocks that are under $10. So before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates. When seeking a safe haven in the face of growing inflation, Federal Reserve rate rises, the possibility of stagflation, and a drawn-out conflict, investors often gravitate to dividend-paying companies. During times of market uncertainty and the probability of a recession, finding a method to secure a steady income might help to provide peace of mind. When there is a considerable level of uncertainty, it is typical for investors to seek asset diversification. Due to the high price of dividend aristocrats, which may approach $400 per share, it may be difficult for investors with limited funds to diversify their portfolios with dividend companies. These seven dividend-paying stocks, which range from gold to semiconductors to beverage and packaging firms, are all valued at about $10 and cover a wide range of industries. This enables investors to choose the stocks that correspond most closely with their investment plan while still offering steady dividends. Number 7. Yamana Gold Incorporated, ticker, AUI. Investors who want to protect against the fluctuating impacts of inflation often seek to a number of safe havens. Gold, which has historically been employed as an inflation hedge, and dividend equities, whose payouts can at least be depended upon even if the stock's price falls, are two examples. As a Canadian producer of precious metals, Yamana Gold meets both criteria. Yamana Gold owns and operates gold, silver and copper mines in Canada, Chile, Brazil, and Argentina. The firm has profited from inflation and significantly exceeded the price of gold over the course of the year, with shares increasing 17%. Gold Fields Limited, GFI, announced at the end of May that it will acquire Yamana in an all-stock deal valued at $6.7 billion, becoming the world's fourth largest gold producer. Each, AUY, share that ended on June 24 at $4.92 would be worth 0.6 GFI shares that closed on June 24 at $9.54, indicating a 17% upside for OI stock at present prices. Goldfield said that the boards of both businesses unanimously authorized the transaction and suggested shareholders vote in favor at a meeting scheduled before the end of September. In addition, GFI's current dividend yield of 3.3% is a positive. The dividend yield for the prior 12 months was 2.4%. Number 6. Arda Metal Packaging SA, AMBP. It is difficult to find a longer-term firm than Arda Metal Packaging if you want to invest for the long run. The $3.6 billion manufacturer of sustainable metal and glass packaging promotes its products as infinitely recyclable, capitalizing on the global transition away from plastic beverage packaging and toward enterprises with environmental, social, and governance aims. Arda is the second largest provider of metal beverage cans by value in Europe and the third largest in the Americas, with 24 manufacturing sites and plans to build additional facilities in the future. AMBP declared $400 million in dividend payments in February, but shifted gears in June to use $200 million on stock buybacks through the end of 2023 and $240 million on 10-cent quarterly dividends going forward bringing its dividend yield down from a sky-high 13% to a still healthy and respectable 6.3%, based on its most recent dividend, or MRD. Number 5. The United Microelectronics Corporation, UMC. United Microelectronics Corporation was the first semiconductor business to be created in Taiwan, although it does not get the same recognition as Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSM. The second largest foundry in Taiwan has a price to earnings ratio of 8.4 and a forward PE ratio of 7.7, making it inexpensive relative to TSM's current PE ratio of 19.8 and projected PE ratio of 13.4. UMC has surpassed earnings projections by a wide margin over the previous two years, with trailing 12 month earnings per share growth over 100%, and is expected to report second quarter EPS growth on July 27. Customers of UMC include Samsung Electronics Company Limited, SSNLF, and Qualcomm Incorporated. The semiconductor scarcity has been a significant impediment to the growth cycle of electric vehicles, therefore UMC has tailwinds behind it. In May, UMC said that it will collaborate with Toyota-backed auto parts company Denso to construct a semiconductor production facility in Japan, and that it would spend $5 billion to expand its Singaporean manufacturing site. Number 4. Annaly Capital Management Incorporated. NLY. Annaly Capital Management is a proven dividend stock. The firm specializes in mortgage-backed securities, mostly from Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, and claims a greater than 80% profit margin. 
As a real estate investment trust, also known as a REIT, it is obligated to transfer at least 90% of its taxable revenue to shareholders in the form of dividends. In exchange, it is exempt from federal income tax. Currently, Annalee is undervalued with a PE ratio of 3.5 and a forward PE of 6.7. Despite the increase in interest rates, NLY has exceeded profit projections for the previous eight quarters, and analysts are optimistic about its future prospects. And with an annual dividend yield of $0.88 cents for a stock valued at $6, a $1 million retirement portfolio invested in NLY would provide an annual income of almost $146,000. Number 3. Satellite Networks of Gilat, GILT Gilat Satellite Networks is an Israeli supplier of telecommunications services that develops and sells FSAT, or very small aperture terminal, satellite ground stations that provide broadband services in Israel and abroad. In recent quarters, the employment of SpaceX's Starlink satellites in the Ukraine war has increased the commercial use of satellites. According to Future Industry Insights, the worldwide commercial satellite imaging market will generate $5.8 billion in 2022 and more than quadruple in the following decade. GILT achieved 19% sales increase in the first quarter of 2022 and anticipates 14% to 23% annual revenue growth. Despite being a minor firm, it has paid dividends annually for the previous three years, the most recent being a $0.63 cent dividend in 2021. MDR's yield is 10.2%. Number 2. Ambev SA, ABEV. Ambev is a Brazilian brewing and distribution firm that is a part of the worldwide alcohol corporation Anheuser-Busch InBev SA, BUD, producing and distributing beers such as Brahma, Corona, Presidente, Budweiser, Bex, and Stella Artois. Consistently meeting or above EPS predictions, ABEV is anticipated to have a prosperous 2022, especially with the World Cup in November and December. Through hedging and an emphasis on returnable packaging, Ambev has aimed to reduce inflation-related expenses, especially from aluminum and barley. In April, Ambev partnered with recyclable packaging manufacturer Arda Metal Packaging and announced a $154 million commitment to construct a new sustainable glass production in Brazil. The dividend yield on investment for Ambev is 4.8%. Number 1. Pangea Logistics Solutions Limited, PANL. While supply chain challenges continue to congest ports, terminals, and several sectors, shipping corporations have recorded record profits. Pangea Logistics is engaged in seaborne dry bulk logistics, which includes loading, discharging, chartering, planning, and vessel management. With a PE ratio of 2.8, Pangea is still fairly priced despite a year-to-date increase of almost 30%. On June 6, Pangea shares rose to $7, but on June 23, when Refinitiv raised the company to a buy rating, it fell down to $5. In addition, Pangea has more than quadrupled its quarterly dividend this year, giving it a yield of 5.8% based on its most recent distribution. Which one of these seven dividend stocks under $10 would you like to add to your portfolio? Please let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly stock tips and investing strategies. Thank you for watching.